Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from group 2 Class 1A Academy Heart of Analyst We want to explain about how to measure blood pressure And my name is Renita And beside me My name is Mia Angelina And beside me My name is Fitriya Nur Asandi Let's see how yeah. Blood pressure in the pressure caused by arterial arterial loss. Peak pressure occurs when the ventricles contract and is caused by systolic pressure. Systolic pressure is the lowest pressure that occurs when the heart is at risk. Blood pressure is usually described as the ratio of systolic pressure to Distolic pressure, which normal adult feels ranging from 100 folies flight 60 to 100 folies flight 90. Average normal blood pressure is usually 120 folies plus 80. According to Haynes, blood pressure is when it is circulated in seed blood pressure, head organs and blood vessel play an important role in this process where the head has a muscular pump that supplies pressure to move blood, and blood vessel that have elastic wells and strong endurance. Meanwhile, former status that pressure blood is in millimeters of mercury the way to measure blood pressure begins with dressing cuff tightly and cancel when the upper arm and the filafer with foam pressure in the cuff is raised to a radial or brachial flux disheveled loss of force indicates that the blood systolic pressure has been is exceeded and the brachial artery is closed. The cuff is developed again by 20 to 30 above the point of loss of radial forces. Then cufflinks developed slowly and waste read auscultated and read farfasion. With farfasion, we can online measure systolic pressure. While with auscultation, we can measure systolic and diastolic pressure more accurate. How to measure blood pressure? 1. Wrap the 10 cm cuff on the upper arm above the elbow. The cuff is wrapped around this part because there are arterial blood vessels coming directly from the heart. These vessels are located under the skin, also called the brachial artery. 2. Strive for a 10 cm place high or parallel to the heart but in a sleeping or sitting or standing position. The hand that is examined is relaxed. 3. Close the air regulating valve on the 10 cm rubber cuff pump by turning right until it runs out. 4. A stethoscope is placed on your ear, a flat part attached to the inside of the elbow crease 
under the cough loop. 5. Pump air into the cough by squeezing the rubber pump repeatedly until the pressure show a reach 140 mm mercury hydrogen. The pressure of 140 mm mercury hydrogen is on the basic of 20 mm mercury hydrogen above the estimate systolic pressure in normal adults, which is 120 mm mercury hydrogen. 6. The palm cuff causes the pressure to increase and compresses the brachial artery so that at on time the blood flow in the brachial artery stops. Listen to the stethoscope that has been mounted on the ear if there is still a thumb, 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 thumb. Means you need to increase the pressure on the cuff by pumping the rubber pump little by little until the stone isn't hurt again. If the person being examined is hypertension, of course the stone of the thumb still be hurt after the pressure reached 140 mm mercury high gradu, then rise another 20 mm mercury high gradu extension so that the shun disappears. 7. Open the air regulating valve by turning leftly slightly gently so that the air from the cuffs comes out little by little so that the blood flow of the brachial artery flows again. Listen and watch the sounds that arises when the cuff valve is open. You will hear the sounds of thumb, thumb, egg. The first thud you hear is also called the carrot cow sound. Continue to release the air from the cuff. Slowly then, the cuff pressure drops gradually. The swan of the thud thud is hard falling and finally not hurt again. How to determine the pressure of systole and diastole? Phase 1. Pay attention when you pump the cuff to a pressure value, example 140 mm hemoglobin or until it doesn't hear a thumb thumb thumb. The pumping activity is stopped. When the air regulating valve is open slightly, the air will be released little by little. Then the cuff pressure decreases gradually. Suddenly, there will be a clear, short tapping sound that is getting louder and louder. This sound is called cord cough voice. This sound is heard during cough pressure allowed from 10 until 15 mm hemoglobin. Phase 2 The sound turns into noisy or murmurs and the loudness decreases during a pressure drop of 15 until 20 mm hemoglobin. Phase 3 The sound becomes clearer and louder during the next 5 until 7 mm hemoglobin decrease. Phase 4 The sound becomes dim and weak rapidly during the next 5 until 6 mm hemoglobin decrease. Phase 5 The sound began to disappear. Classification of blood pressure First, when your heart beats, it squeezes and pushes blood through your arteries to the rest of your body. This force creates pressure on those blood vessels, and that's your systolic blood pressure. Beside the tables, we can know a normal systolic pressure is below 120, and prehypertension is 120 until 139. And hypertension stage 1 
the systolic will be 140 until 159 but in stage 2 the systolic is more than 160 the second is the diastolic reading or the bottom number is the pressure in the arteries when the heart rests between beats this is the time when the heart fills with blood and gets oxygen from the table we can know too a normal diastolic blood pressure is lower than 80 and the prehypertension the diastolic pressure is 80 until 89 and the hypertension stage 1 in diastolic pressure is 90 until 99 and hypertension stage 2 is more than 100 Hello guys, thank you for watching our video Hopefully this video can help you to measure and know the blood pressure properly Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe See you, bye-bye!